Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the channel. My name is Tony. This is the 15 Minute Gamer, and today we're here in Train Life, a railway simulator. Imagine Euro Truck Simulator with trains, and you've kind of got the idea of what this is. I've done the tutorial, so I should be kind of versed in how it works, but bearing in mind, I haven't played the campaign yet, so this is the first kind of go. It is in early access. You can get now for about 12, 13 pounds, so what, 15, 16 dollars. One thing that does need added is you can't change the controls. And the controls are WS for forward and backwards, E and D, which is braking. So E puts your brake on, D takes it off. And A is for radio, Q is for changing tracks. However, I don't like the E and the D for the brakes. I'd rather that was A and D. I'd rather like. A put the brakes on and D turned them off. It would just make way more sense to me. So hopefully that comes soon-ish. It's an interesting game. I think if this develops well and they really add more trains in, more missions, more areas, really make it look nice, I think we could be on something fun here. So anyway, new game. God damn it. Actually, no, we've got our continue game. I don't want to set my little thing again. Yeah, you can set up um, like a company and call it names and you make money and. Congratulations, engineer. Right, here we go. We are starting the career. Exam with flying colors. Yes, I did You're pass with flying colors. Rails of Europe without me watching over your shoulder. No, you can watch over me, dude. Don't forget, you'll prefer the reprimand for driving slowly as opposed to hitting other vehicles or breaking any laws. There's like speed limits when and stuff, doubt, of course. Relax and take your time. I always do that. But you don't have to undertake such a large task alone. There no, you can actually hire people as well. Uh, so you can get different trains and hire them. And so, and yeah, it is just literally like your truck simulator. You'll be able to hire some of them to work for you. Just like well. during your exam, the cities across Europe are constantly in need of all kinds of resources and goods. And just like your truck simulator, you might have different things. But yeah, it's a little bit different. So you might be having like, say, someone who wants timber, and you get contracts. It's all like that. Companies' preferential treatment. Consider that a tip from a friend, but don't go repeating it. All right. Thank you, friend. I've seen a lot of students over the years, but I've got to admit that you're graduating at an exciting. Uh, um, we are. It's very chances, exciting. Strategize your deliveries and grow your empire into one of Europe's greatest... I hope it kind of tells me what to do. <laughs> I think I'm in Dresden. I think that's where I chose to start. That's where I kind of wanted me little headquarters. Um, and I put UK in, apparently. Um, we have a different train to what you just showed me. So before we start driving anywhere, I just want to show you what's kind of in here. So this is the map area. You can see it's quite extensive in how it all works. There's so much to see. I mean, I don't know how realistic it is. Like, is the Euro Tunnel here or do you just drive through? I don't know. But you can see that it's got lots of uh, places to go and explore. And you can see it's pretty much like Euro Truck Simulator with its main places. These little buildings um, show you what they've got and what they produce. The better way to see that is through the codex. So a pump jack, you can go and get crude oil and drop it to a refinery. If you've got a coal mine, you can get coal and drop it off at a power plant. Or you can drop it off at a steel mill, iron mine, forest, farm, passengers. So you can see passengers need to go from passenger to passenger. You've got your warehouse, which produces uh, postage, which can be taken to a warehouse. If we look at the dashboard, you can see there's my little profile picture. That's a locomotive I've got. You can see the distance, how much money I've made. You can level up the cities as well. So the more stuff you take to a city, the more it will level up. Company-wise, you can see how much money you've got. You can do trains uh, logos. You can see what contracts you've got, how fast you can go, information when you've got employees. You can see on there, you've got skills just like your truck simulator. So you can do fuel usage so you get better fuel because when you get to a certain place, you will have used some fuel. Then you've got some level unlocks as well. So you can see there. We can level them up as you go. You get different locomotives, different things to do, um, and new parts and stuff. So that's kind of how all that works. How does the world work? Well, these here are service areas. And you can click on any of them to go just like your truck simulator. So you just pinpoint where you want to go. So if I wanted to go to this service station down here, click on there. In a service station, well, kind of a service area, what you can do is you can load up things, you can change your train, you can change the passenger. And that's what we're going to do. We're just going to take a little journey from here 
down to Dresden Pump Jack, and I'll just show you kind of how the game works. It is an early access, so bear in mind there might be a few bugs. The cockpit is clickable in lots of ways, so you can click a lot of these buttons, so you can open the doors, you can um, go the other way, so you can actually swap. So if you press the shift button, you can actually look the other way, so you can go front or back cabin. You can put your lights on in your cabin, you can turn them off. You can put some wipers on, turn the wipers off. It has a radio. You can change the camera, so the camera mode has it has a couple of cameras so you can see there like a cinematic camera one you can move around so you can zoom out and have a little look around then back in as i said how the game works is e puts your brake on so you can see the little red marker there on the left hand side side the speedo you've got on the other side of the speed up, you've got your, like, the blue color. That's kind of, like, your, your thrust or throttle. And you can go up to 100%. Along the bottom, you have, if your lights are on, you can just toggle them on and off with T. You can put the reverser on. So press R, and you'll start going backwards. You've got emergency brake on or off, and then wheel slip. In front of you, you'll see the signs. So you can see there, 1680, so it tells you what speed you're doing. With Q, if you look at the bottom left of the screen you can see the mini map and you can see what way you need to go so if it's green that means you're in the right direction if you go right it would mean i was going in the wrong direction so let's set off and i'll show you how all this kind of looks and how it works so we'll put some little throttle on maybe about 20 you might get a bit of wheel slip but we shouldn't get too much you can see that this is a bit slow accelerating you can't like walk around or anything as yet i don't know if they're planning to bring that in but that would be nice and me kitten is just saying hello Feels like it's toying down, she's coming into the room. Okay, bye. Right, um, <laughs> she's obviously not interested in trains. Right, so the speed limit on here is 60, but we're going to go up to 80, so I'm going to give it a little bit more throttle just to kind of get there a bit quicker. So it's like, if you have played Train Sim, it's probably a bit of an easier version of that. Um, train Sim can sometimes be a little bit difficult, but this is like kind of more of a toned down version. I just love the way how much maps you have. And it's why I love Euro Truck Simulator. Hello. Don't stand on the keyboard. Don't stand on the keyboard. Ow. Don't stand on the keyboard. I'll just press the emergency brake. Right. <laughs> Jones managed to stand on the exact key I need. You can see that I need to change to the right. So I'm going to do that. Uh, I was playing DCS yesterday. <laughs> And I was trying to get some footage for the video I just did. And she managed to just stall the plane in midair and crash me. I was like, how have you done that? She just knows what button to press, I think. So, yeah, we can go all the way up to 80 now. So, might as well put full throttle on. And next speed limit is 120. So, we can hammer it. Let's get that speed going. You can see here we have a signal coming up in 440. You can see if we went left, it would be wrong. So, we'll keep it to right. And there we go. We're flying right. Let's tone back the throttle a little bit. Don't really want to be. This is the bridge zone. So you see, yeah, we're crossing a nice little bridge. Isn't it pleasant? I like it. I like this game. I think it's pretty cool, to be fair. And you know, the developers just sent me a code over and said, yeah, check this game out. Now, Drake had it on my radar. It was already on my Steam wish list. I'd watched, I think, Squirrel playing it. Go at 120. Now, let's, let's get all the way up there. You can see, yeah, you have different, like, the way things are set like that was quite walled in. You can see now we're going into a nice open area. There is AI traffic as well. You will, will see AI traffic around. They did turn them off for a while because they were actually breaking the game. Like they were just stopping and <laughs> waving. Ooh, watch out animal on track. Oh, this is new. This wasn't in the tutorial. What is, where's this animal? And is it in my way? Will I, I feel like we should be slowing down, maybe. I don't know. Should we be slowing down? Should we just hit it? Um, is there a horn? I guess there's a horn. We need to can we slow down. I don't know where this animal is. Oh, yeah, it's right. I think, is that it? Hell, how am I going to deal with this situation? Um, okay. This I wasn't expecting. 
Do I have a horn? Um, I don't know. I think I do. One of these buttons must be a horn. What would a horn look like? I mean, we could just run it over, but I think that's mean. What would a horn look like? I don't know what a horn looks like. Horn? I th that looks like a horn to me. Right, okay, we're just gonna... Ah, there we go. Get out of the way! Yay, it worked! Look at us training. Would be cool. Um, while well, we're talking about trains, have you seen that new guy on... He's on... He's been on everything, TikTok and stuff like that. Uh, Francis Bougua, I think I'll tell you Francis' surname. He is so much fun. He loves trains. And his enthusiasm is amazing. So if you haven't checked him out, go and check him out. He's so funny. And he has this, like... Um, GoPro on top of his head where he um like the camera angle is just brilliant. I just love it. Like he's got this like the way it makes his face look is just so funny. And he's just obsessed with trains. And in fact yesterday he quit his uh, job to become a full time influencer uh, train spot. And I think he's like up to a million followers on Instagram, which is just crazy. Just crazy. So yeah, maybe trains are coming back in. I've kind of always had a thing for trains, I guess. It's not been a hobby I've ever kind of got into. I have um, a railway museum. Next speed limit, we need to slow down. Beside me. I don't know how far it is away. I presume, so. yeah, we're coming in soon, actually. So we need to slow down really fast. We'll concentrate, we'll concentrate. Look at this lovely pollutant building. I think we're down to 50 just in time. Yeah, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We're going right. Yep. Yay. Um, does this need? Does that have any job for us? Oh, it does. Well, I'm gonna show you how the service thing works, and then we're gonna. Yeah. Whoa, that's a long way. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> we'll go in here. I'll show you how it all works. Uh, we could do with um, stone down. Ugh. Emergency, emergency, emergency. <laughs> I forgot the button. That's what I mean. That button just does not make sense to me to break. <laughs> Good God. So in here, you can fix your train. So you just click that and click fix all. You can refuel. So refuel. You can change game mode. So you can go from cargo to passengers and postage. So if you do passenger and postage mode, you can then pick up passengers and stuff. You can add wagons. So if we go there, you can click on there and you can add postage or passenger. So that's kind of how that works. You can manage all your locomotives. Obviously, we only have one at the moment. You can buy new ones. So you can see here, we've got, we've got 72,000. We can't buy any, but you know, available level 23, we can't do that. And you can upgrade as well. So you can add better things, engines, chassis, fuel tanks. That sort of thing. We will reverse the train direction because we want to come out. And there we go. We're now at the right way. And it says we need a pickup. So let's see what happens here. We should have all our trailers on now. Yeah, look at that. And at this point, I was going to continue with my journey to Munich, but it was about an hour of game time. So I think I'm going to split the video up here. So this is just my introduction and showing you how it all works. Then we'll move on to doing a full journey and I'll kind of add transitions in, speed up, show you interesting things that happened. Right, so I'll catch you on the next video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll catch you on the next one. Goodbye.